everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are creating this full face. Oh god. Today we are creating this full face smoky blue eye colorful glamness. We're doing the whole face. I show you how to do my eyebrows. I show you how I do my contour, my foundation, the eyeshadow, everything. Everything. This look was initially inspired by Kim Kardashian. There is a picture of her and it's she's in like this gray outfit and it it's like a full body shot and you can't really see her eye makeup too well but if you zoom in you can see that it's like a blue and purple smoky eye and I saw it a while ago and I've been wanting to recreate it for so long now it's loosely inspired by that I did put my own twist on it obviously but yeah Kim she's killing it with the blue eyeshadow game I gotta say but blue eyeshadow seems to be in like such a trend right now especially with the KKW Beauty and the Mario palette coming out recently with that fire blue eyeshadow in it so you know, I have always loved blue eyeshadow. If you've been following me for a while, you've probably seen me do a billion blue eyeshadow looks. So I really wanted to kind of change it up a little bit with the blue and add some pink and purple in with it. And I created this look the other day on my Instagram and I did not record a tutorial for it, which I wish I would have. So I decided just to do it today because why not? If you guys would like to see how I created this blue smoky eye look, then just keep watching. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to moisturize my face using my favorite First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream. I love this moisturizer. I've been using it every day for probably like a month now. And lately I've been doing my makeup a little bit different. I've been doing my eyebrows first, then my eyes, which I used to do my eyes, then my foundation and concealer, and then my eyebrows. But yeah, I've been doing my eyebrows first instead. So I'm going to take my Brow Wiz from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I use the color Granite. I basically just shape out my eyebrows with the brow wiz and then I go in with my dip brow pomade from Anastasia and this is in the shade Granite as well. I just like my eyebrows super dark. Fun fact, I used to actually fill in my eyebrows with black paint, black body paint. And I'm taking this Anastasia number 12 brush to fill them in. I'm gonna take my NARS Soft Matte Concealer and I'm gonna use this Sigma L06 Precision Lip Line Brush. This is what I always use to clean up my brows. And then I just go in and kind of blend that all out so there's no harsh lines. It just makes the brow look so much nicer when it's cleaned up like that. All right, now we're going to prime our lids. So I'm gonna use <laughs> my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Power Potion in Eden, like I always do. And I've been taking it down, like, like down to my lower lash line almost, and out. I'm getting all the way in my inner corner too. So 
So for this look, I used my Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette. So I'm first going to dip into this hot pink kind of fuchsia color up here in the corner. This is going to be my transition shade today. You could always just stick with blue and do just like a full on blue smoky eye, but I wanted to add a little bit of another color to it. I love blue shadows. They're my favorite and I love doing a whole blue shadow look, but I feel like I do that a lot. So I've been trying to incorporate other colors when I want to do blue shadow. Okay, so I'm going to take this brush. This is, um, one of the Harry Potter wand of brushes from Storybook Cosmetics. It's kind of taller on this side and a little bit shorter on the side, but I'm gonna use this to blend out this pink fuchsia color. And I'm gonna start on the outer corner here. And just really start blending that in. And you want to use really light pressure as you're blending up. Next, I'm going to take this Ben Nye Magic Color Cream Crayon. This is in the shade Bright Blue. You can really use any blue liner you have. I would suggest doing a matte one. You could always do shimmer if you want. Also Urban Decay has one that's called Chaos and it's almost identical to this one so you can always use that too. But I'm just going to put this literally all over the lid. This, I love anything cream based. If you're going to do a smoky eye, I love to lay down a cream base first and then pack on the color like a shadow on top of it. It really just helps the color become more pigmented. It also helps it stay a little bit better. I'm going to take it over my crease quite a bit and I'm going to kind of do it in a cat eye shape. It really doesn't need to be perfect however you're laying this down because we're going to be adding a lot of shadow on top of it and smoking it out quite a bit. Just like that. Next I'm going to take this turquoise, deep turquoise-ish teal color and I'm going to be packing this right on top of this blue. And first I'm just going to pack it all over the blue liner we did first. And then once I have that down, I'm going to start taking it very lightly with very light pressure and blending out those edges. I'm gonna go back in along the edges a little bit and just add some more of this blue. And I'm gonna go back in with our first brush and I'm gonna do the fuchsia color. Oops. I'm going to do a little bit of the fuchsia color with a little bit of this hot pink mixed in too. I'm going to go right along those edges. And then I'm going to go in with like a fluffier brush with the teal color on it just to smoke out the edges. It's really about going back and forth. You really have to layer with a smoky eye. Start with less and then keep going in and adding more. That way you don't mess it up too much right at the get-go. And I mean, you really don't have to go like as dramatic and smoked out as I did. You can do it a little bit less. You can do it more. You can really make this your own. Ooh, I got the hiccups. And this is where my eyes start to water. This eye waters so much. It drives me out of my mind. Oh, and I should have said the brush that I'm using to pack on the 
turquoise shadow is from Sigma. It's the E32 brush and it's called Exact Blend and it's kind of like flat but fluffy at the same time. So it's good for packing down the color first and then you can just kind of take it and it'll really blend out edges really nicely too. I like this brush a lot. Next I'm going to take this Wet n Wild highlighting powder. This is in the shade White Raven. It's like an iridescent white bluish kind of color and I'm going to use it for my eyebrow highlight. I'm going to give the brush a little wet too just so it sticks a bit better and is a little bit more intense. There is the eye portion and I might just go back in. I'm going to go back in and just pack some more of that teal on the lid just in case any of the pink kind of like fell out onto it or anything like that. Okie dokie, we did the eyes mostly. I'm going to move on to my face. Lately for my primer I've been doing a really crazy combo but it's been really working super well for my skin so I'm using three different products for my primer. So first I am taking my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Soft White Liquid Highlighter and I'm going to do a few little droplets of this all over my face. This will just give some radiance to the skin. And then I'm taking my Too Faced Hangover Primer and I'm mixing it together with the liquid highlight. And then I'm just going to go ahead and massage it in. I like my skin to feel super hydrated when I put foundation on, but I am pretty oily in my T-zone. So I use another primer in that area to make sure that no oil comes through throughout the day. And then the primer I use in my T-zone is the Primed and Peachy Primer from Too Faced. And this one I just put in like the areas I have pores at or the areas where I tend to get oily at throughout the day. And I even put it underneath my eyes just a little bit just to smooth out all my fine lines. There's a helicopter! It's supposed to be 80 degrees today um, where I'm at and I'm like holy cow that's hot. So we actually have our air conditioner on right now and we haven't had our air conditioner on at all this year so it's summer. And y'all are just going to think I'm crazy because I use so many products on my face, but my skin is so weird and I'm always trying different stuff to see like what will hold up the best on my face throughout the day. Like I want to find the most long wearing, you know, stuff that I can find and sometimes that means you have to mix things together. So I've been using two foundations lately. I know. I know, you all think I'm crazy. I've been using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation, which is actually really funny because I never used drugstore products before. Like I literally, besides when I was like younger obviously, but the past like five or six years, I really haven't used anything drugstore. And I was just at Walgreens one day picking up my prescriptions because I'm a diabetic and I go once a month and I'll just wander around Walgreens and I saw this foundation and I had seen so many people talking about it. I was like, you know what? It's six dollars. Let's get it. So I got this one in Rose Ivory, which is really, really pink. And then I love my Huda Beauty foundation, but this color in Angel Food is just a tiny bit too yellow on me. So I mixed them together and I mixed it together initially just for the coloring to make the coloring like perfect for me. But I actually really love the way it wears throughout the day and the way it looks on my skin. It's so pretty. So I just apply the Wet n Wild one all over. And I blend this one out first. Mm. 
Make sure you blend it down that neck, girl. And then I just do a little tiny squirt of Huda for every section of my face. And I just blend it on top of the Wet n Wild foundation. And then for concealer, my Ride or Die concealer for months has been the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. It's the only thing that doesn't like crease underneath my eyes. My eyes crease so bad all the time. I actually have been using this one from Laura Mercier. It's her new Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer and it is bomb. I love it. I do two layers of it though because I've got dark under eyes. I blend it out and you don't need to worry about getting this too perfect because we're going to really smoke around the edges here. But I am going to clean this up a little bit. And I only layer the concealer on the underneath of my eyes. I don't layer it anywhere else on my face. But I just do it above where my eye socket kind of sinks into my skull. And then I always use my Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder. It's my favorite powder right now, as you can see. I'm pretty much out of it. Which I'm really sad about. And Mama uses a lot of powder, y'all. I just powder it up. And I use a beauty blender to powder my whole face. I just think it blends the powder and melts the powder into your skin a little bit better than using a brush. Mm -hmm. And then you make a mess because there's powder everywhere. All over your clothes, all over your vanity, all over everything. And then just to make sure all the powder is set and really just in our skin, because that's good, right? I take my Hangover 3-in-1 setting spray slash primer, whatever, and I spray it all over my face. This is not to set my face. This is to make sure all that powder is set into my foundation. I need to move my orange juice to do this. So next I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Eyeshadow. This one is called Goth Tears, and I'm going to use this for my inner corner highlight today. Oh, I should do my under eyes first. First, I'm going to take that same blue pencil that we used for the upper lid, and I'm going to put it in my lower lash line, my water line, all over down there. It's going to go to town. And then I'm going to take that same teal color from the Huda palette and the same Sigma E32 brush and I'm going to pack it on first. And I'm going to bring it down quite a ways. We are going pretty dramatic with this. And then I'm going to take that fuchsia color and just go on the outskirts and kind of connect everything. And I'm going to take my beauty blender with a little bit of powder and I'm just going to kind of clean up this line here. Now I'm going to go back in. Now I'm going to go back in with that wet and wild liquid eyeshadow using it for my inner corner highlight. Then I like to take a brush and just kind of smudge it out a little bit. And surprisingly enough, I don't do any, I didn't do any liner for this at all. I did no liner. 
I just went straight in with some lashes, y'all. Mm -hmm. So for my lashes today, I'm going to be using these Lily Lashes in Sephora Collection collab. Um, these are in the style Miami, which I'm pretty sure she just makes on her own. I've never tried Lily Lashes before, so I work at Sephora. When I saw these, that we had these, I was like, oh my god. Oh my goodness. So I had to buy a pair just to try them. I could always order them online, but I don't know. I like to shop. I love shopping online, but when I see something in store that I want, I'm like, okay. Okay, I'll buy it. Shopping's just kind of like therapy, you know? Like doing my makeup is therapy. Shopping is therapy. These are so pretty and fluffy. Oh my goodness. So pretty. I'm going to cut a little bit off the ends because they are a little too long for me. And while the lash glue is drying and getting a little bit tacky, I'm going to do my mascara. I'm going to use my Smashbox Super Fan Mascara, which I'm obsessed with lately. It does not flake at all. take my Tarte Lash Applicator these lashes are so fluffy they're like hard to put on I'm gonna take a black pencil and just run it on my upper waterline. I'm gonna tight line that. I'm using my basket case liner from Kat Von D just because it's my favorite. I'm gonna run it. This will just help deepen that upper lash line and also make the lashes blend in a little bit better with your natural lash line. And I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara just to the base. eyes are done. Yay. These lips need some balm. They're dry. All right to contour. I'm going to use my shade and light contour palette from Kat Von D like I always do. It's my favorite palette to contour with. Let me just go and chisel out these cheekbones a little bit. I've been going up a little bit higher with my contour. Like instead of going down lower here, I'm kind of like bringing it up above the hollows of my cheeks lately and I've been really liking it. I always like to blend my contour onto my temples just a little bit. I go over it with highlight but still. Then I go in with a little bit more powder just to clean up this edge. For blush today, I'm taking this one from Lancome. It's called a plum, a plum, a plum. It's kind of like a pinky. It's kind of like a pinky purplish kind of shade. So I think it goes really pretty with the eye look that we did. You can always do like a peach color that always goes pretty with blues, but I wanted to go for purples with this look when I did it. And blush, I think, is just so important. People are really scared of blush, but I think blush really just brings the whole look together. And then for our highlight today, I am going to use that same Wet n Wild White Raven highlight. And then for lips today, I'm gonna first go in using my Architect Lip Sculptor, Art Architect Lip Sculptor in Mosaic from LA Splash Cosmetics. It's just a hot pink fuchsia kind of color. 
which is about the same shade as our lipstick today. You could always do like a pale pink with this. You could just do a nude with this. You could do a blue. You could do whatever your heart desires. lipstick today I am taking my Sigma Beauty liquid lipstick this is in the shade Fox Glove and then I'm gonna set my face with my Kat Von D lock it setting spray Alright guys, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching. This look is super fun and colorful and crazy, but I love doing colorful looks. They are so much fun to me and I just really like the way it looks. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel and that you give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see when I upload, make sure you hit the notification bell on my little YouTube thingy. You know what I'm talking about. That way you get notified when I upload because I have been hearing weird things about YouTube not notifying people or just like, I don't know, I've just been hearing a lot of weird stuff. It's kind of like getting like Instagram people are complaining about it a lot and not liking the way that they have changed things. So hit the notification bell so you know when I upload, y'all. Mm. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.